Hello everybody, welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Amazon's secret project to bring robots to your home that do more than just vacuum your carpets or mop the floors. These robots are meant to do a lot and help Amazon expand into a new market area. We're gonna be taking a look at everything we know about it right now, give you the history of when it was first announced or leaked, I should say, because Amazon has not made an official announcement about this, that Amazon was working on it, talk about what they hope to do, where the project is going, and when you can expect to see them. Now, first, if you're new here though, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We try to give you an idea of everything happening in the world and break it down in quick, easy YouTube videos. So let's dive into this, but those YouTube likes and subscribes really do help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, which is a huge help. All right, let's take a look at everything we know right now about the new Amazon home robot project name Vesta. Now these uh, robots were first leaked or the knowledge of it back in 2019 from a Bloomberg article, actually, excuse me, 2018 from a Bloomberg article and then a lot of updates in 2019 about them. These are hoped to be $1,000 robots that will do a lot of things for you. Uh, keep you company for one, maybe be a video call system with a mobile screen that can move to wherever you are for video calling and make it a little easier. But the goal here is to be more than just a simple basic robot. The catch though is Amazon wants the price to be about $1,000. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. Amazon's really hoping that they can expand into new markets. Now they've had a lot of markets they're very successful with, beyond the website and consumer products. Now they want to get into home robots, which many people see will be a big part of the future. Not just for home, but for commercial uses too. We're already seeing robots like this appear. But the idea that you can get a, an assistant to do mopping and cleaning and basic tasks and answer questions and move through the house with you is something that a lot of people believe will be a major market segment in the next five to 10 years. Amazon wants in on it, but like Amazon, they just don't want to release some crazy expensive prototype. They want a product that's ready for mass production. And that's where the $1,000 price point comes in. Their hope is that they'll be able to get a product that can do more than just vacuum your home for around $1,000. Though it's probably gonna be very limited at the start. Like many new products, it starts very basic. If you remember the very first iPhone, and you couldn't even install random apps. It was very limited in what it could do, had set features, and that was really what the very first generation iPhone did. Past that, they were like, use the web browser. So we'll see what happens. Exactly all the features that will be coming from this are unknown. Amazon's been very, very quiet about it. We do know they have a whole facility working on robotics, not just for your home, but for commercial purposes also. And we're seeing robots start to become more popular. Uh, Walmart's heavily going into them to do things like floor shopping. And for a while there, they were even testing out the ability to have robots drive, self-driving robots go up and down the aisles and check stock. Though they backed off on that plan now, they are still continuing to do things like self-driving floor cleaners that free up an employee from just walking behind a floor cleaner all day. Other places are using robots. I'm sure Amazon wants to get into this too, to do basic tasks like in a hotel, deliver meals to the rooms instead of having to have a human leave the front desk or leave the chef um, cook line and take the food to you. A robot could just knock on your door, you take the food out of the robot and the robot goes back to the kitchen, for example. Other places we're seeing a lot of robots right now is in front desks and as a question and answer type thing, a concierge type service, a little robot there where you can ask basic questions. What time is breakfast? Where is the nearest Walmart? What is the best a restaurant for food in the area and more. We're seeing an increase in high-end hotels and there's words that even mid and low range hotels are looking to get into this of using robots to free up the front desk from basic questions that can be easily answered. The nice thing about this is instead of having people type in the questions, just to ask in a natural language is huge. Especially a robot that can understand multiple languages if one person asks in English, another person asks um, in Spanish and more, the robot can seamlessly jump back and forth between them without having to have a staff that can understand hundreds of languages for major conventions, for example. So there's a lot of use here, but in the home, there's a lot of hope that 
These devices, as we become an aging population, Japan has invested heavily in home robots to help the elderly, that that could be a big help. But also just the general tasks, the picking up the counters, the, the mopping, the vacuuming, and more could be a huge help. Plus, you know, using the um, built-in Echo, it's a music and conversation device too. It'd be very interesting to see how this plays out. So what are the issues? Why isn't this on the market yet? If they started having a serious effort in 2018, what's the problem? Well, the $1,000 price point has been a major problem. Most very basic robots, and we're talking robots that do very, very basic things like answer questions at a front desk or maybe do very basic delivery, cost over $2,000. The bigger ones you see at places like Walmart cleaning the floors cost a lot more than $2,000. So having a basic unit that costs $1,000, that can also do enough to make it interesting, right? We could put a robot in your home right now that would just be nothing but an Echo on wheels. That may not be enough to get people to spend $1,000. Amazon's definitely working to try to find a way that they can find a product that will offer the features and hit the price point. And we'll see, Amazon's also struggled with turnover. The person who reportedly was leading this project has left Amazon to a new project in 2019. The other problem probably is the pandemic. As with many big projects, the pandemic has set them back. So Amazon may have seen a delay in that. Now, I do believe Amazon is very serious about it, but the question is, when will we see this? And the truth is, we don't really know. There are a lot of complications out there when it comes to this. For example, how can you hit the price point? Does technology need to advance? Do we need to get robotic parts cheaper, cameras cheaper for the driving, and more to the point that we can afford to have a $2,000 or $1,000 device that can do enough to justify the cost? That's a big thing here. What can it do? Now that raises a question. What would you want a home robot to do? Would a home robot that can do basic um, tasks like vacuuming and mopping be helpful? Well, um, and one that can do video calls and more and act like a little personal assistant to a point, answering your questions, following you through the home instead of having to have a device in each room. Would that be interesting to you? Or would you rather wait for a device that could actually do things like pick up the countertop, wash the dishes, and more, maybe fold the laundry someday? These are all things that in theory could be done now. The problem is the cost you know, who's gonna buy a $10,000 robot just to do the dishes and fold the laundry? Or more, to be honest with you. And that's where the problem is. So probably increasingly see these appear in businesses where hotels and more will start having deliveries from the um, kitchen come from robots or maybe the front desk have humans, but also have a robot there that can, like we talked about, answer basic questions in multiple languages, help translate for guests that don't speak the language of the staff on hand and more. And eventually, I do believe in the next five or so years, we will start seeing affordable basic robots that do very basic tasks in your home beyond just the basic you know, vacuum cleaner that's self-driving, for example. Now there's a lot of potential here. I would love to have a vacuum that, or a robot, excuse me, that mows my grass. You know, uh, lawn care services are fairly expensive. Just having a little robot that can go out there and do that for me would be huge. And they're already starting to hit the market, but the cost is quite high. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. And we'll have to wait and see how the inside um, helpers come along. Would you be buying a robot for your parents if you knew that that robot could move around the house? You know, if you're calling your parents, they are unable to respond. Could you use a robot to say, hey, are they in the home laying on the floor um, needing help? Or did they just happen to not be there when you called? You know, let me know, would you be interested in such features? All right, so that's the video for today. If you're new here, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. We'll be continuing to produce a lot more content like this, keeping you informed, trying to give you what's happening in the world in short little videos that keep you informed without having to do, you know, do a lot of investigation, not have to do a lot of um, reading, and just have a quick little thing to keep you up to date. If you're interested in that, let me know. If you like these videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really is a big help. So thanks for your support. 
Thanks to everybody here. We just had one of our best days ever on the channel, both in views and subscriber gains. It's really going well. I really appreciate your support. We'll be back with another video real soon.